Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. So today's video is going to be super unique and super interesting or at least I think it will be interesting. So anyways, in today's video, we will try the challenge where we create one of our favorite beauty gurus makeup looks. I would definitely like to make this a series in my channel. But firstly, I have to start with my favorite beauty influencer, Shreya Jain. Oh my God, I love her. I have been watching her videos since I was in school. She is one of my favorite beauty influencers who has always motivated me. And I love her makeup looks. Like she is a queen. And recently she did this look where she did a zodiac inspired makeup look now she's an aquarius and she did the aquarius look and it was so beautiful blue look although i'm not an aquarius but yeah instantly i knew i needed to try that look because i love blue and that look was so pretty i'm a taurus baby and i will definitely do this look during the taurus season but yeah it's january it's aquarius month although i'm not an aquarius i love aquarians so yeah <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to my channel also hit the notification bell right next to it also give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comment section right below now without any further ado let's get started <laughs> Prime time and I'm using my Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser. Such a throwback moment. So I don't have the primer with me but I have this Inside Cosmetics 3-in-1 Pore Filling Primer. It is a really nice pore filling primer and I'll be using it to fill out my pores. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this primer. I'm going to start applying this on the areas where I have most amount of pores. For me, that is the center of my face and also my chin area. And I'm also going to apply a little bit of this on my forehead just to give my face a smooth and blank canvas to work with. Moving on to foundation, I'm going to use my Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. I love this foundation. So I'll be using my Fit Me Foundation. This is in the shade 228 Soft Tan. So I'm going to take a little bit of that product, not a lot. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dot it all over my face to make sure I don't have a a lot of it in one place and it's all nicely spread out I, i'm going to be taking a flat top brush i'm going to start stamping it into place i've been loving the stamping technique because it retains the coverage of the product and blends it out beautifully too so i'm just going to stamp it all over my face and make sure it's nicely blended out and i have no patchiness going on Look at how gorgeous that foundation looks on the skin. It has so much coverage yet it looks so natural. But now it's time to hide those under eye bags because these are not Gucci Prada or for that matter even Sarojini. I like Sarojini bags but I don't like these bags. So I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Camo Concealer which is a long lasting high coverage concealer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a very little amount. I have just one dip of that and I'm just going to apply it right in my inner and outer corners of the eye. I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, my cupid's bow, chin and also under the area where I'm going to be contouring next. I haven't taken a lot of concealer because this is supremely full coverage. So I'm going to start blending out. I am going to blend out my eyes the last because it gives me a little bit of extra coverage. So I'm blending out my upper lip right now and I'm going to take it towards the corners of my nose since the corners of my nose do have a little bit of redness like most people's corners of the nose do and then I'm going to blend out the area under my contour right here. This will just give me a little bit of a chiseled face. So I'm just blending that out. Don't worry, we are going to be going back in with our foundation brush to make sure there are no harsh edges and everything looks blended out beautifully. Now it's time to blend out the nose. So I'm just stamping everything in. Stamping, as I said, is currently my favorite way of blending everything out since it tends to retain a lot of coverage and still blend out everything. And once that is done, it's now time to do the eyes. So I'm going to again just stamp it into place. And with whatever's left on my brush, the excess, I'm going to take it down the sides of my nose. And also on the under eye area, just a little bit. And then I'm going to start blending out the outer corner. And with whatever's left with that, I'm going to go on my eye just a little bit to get rid of extra pigmentation. So that when we apply eyeshadows, the colors can pop up. I'm going back in with my foundation brush and I'm going to make sure that all of the edges where my concealer and foundation meet are nicely blended out so that we don't have any harsh edges going on and everything looks seamless. Now to set my base into place, I'm going to use my K-Beauty Compact Powder. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a little bit of this powder. I'm going to start stamping this on my under eyes because that is the first area that creases on most people. So I'm going to powder them down and make sure that they are elongated in the wear time as much as they can be. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of this powder around my mouth because I do tend to talk and express a lot and that gives me smile lines. And now to bronze up my face and bring some life back to it, I'm going to use my Benefit Hula Powder. Again, this is one of my favorite bronzers of all time. This 
brush i'm going to pick up a little bit of that product because this is highly pigmented and again i'm just going to first stamp it into place so i'm just placing the color first so that i know exactly where i want it to be and then i'm going to start blending it upwards i'm also going to apply a little bit of this on my forehead just to get a nice and bronzy look going on then a little bit would also go on my chin and my jawline again just to get a nice cohesive look going on and the last place where i'm going to hit it is on my nose i'm not particularly contouring up my nose just adding a nice little structure to it so that it doesn't look as flat as it does right now moving on i'm going to use my ambient lighting powder from hourglass this is honestly one of the prettiest things i own in my collection so i don't have that hourglass powder so i have this palette right here which has a shimmery bronzer situation and i'm going to use a small angle brush and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over the areas where i have applied my bronzer this just makes everything look airbrush almost and it just makes everything look just so more seamless and beautiful i am in love with this product like i've fallen in love with this product all over again ever since i've started using it in my project pan and i literally just use it by itself so many times i don't even bronze up with anything else but just with this it's now time to blush up my cheeks so i'm using my becca x jaclyn hill palette and i'm going to use the shade pample mousse from this palette which is a beautiful peachy coral color so i have this coral blush by makeup revolution this is in the shade baked peach and i'll be using this blush so i'm going to pick up a very very tiny amount not a lot because this is a very highly pigmented blush i'm going to start from the apples of my cheek and i'm barely touching the brush onto my face i'm going to just push it back into my contour like that so that it merges with the contour and it's like one part and not three stripes of products and once we have that on i'm going to make sure that i blend it out so again in a very very feathering motion i'm just going in circular motions and making sure that it's nicely blended out from the same palette i'm going to pick up prosecco pop which is a beautiful highlighter i'm picking it up with the help of a nice tapered brush i have the sugar mini highlighter this is in the shade champagne champion i'm going to apply it on the tops of my cheeks just to highlight my cheekbones and i'm going in very very soft motion as you can see i'm barely touching the brush to my face i'm going to feather it out a little bit again just to blend it out this is a highly pigmented highlighter so a light hand is always suggested you can always build things up easily toning them down is the more difficult thing to do and once i have this highlighter on the highest points of my cheeks i'm also going to apply it on the tip of my nose the bridge of my nose my cupid's bow just to highlight all of those areas and bring a little bit of glow and attention to them and now to mesh and marry all of those powders together it's time to take a quick little shot in your setting spray i'm using my fix plus from mac and i'm just going to spritz this all over my face from a distance Now that my base is done it's time to move on to the eyes I'm starting with my brows and I'm going to use precisely my brow from Benefit this is a micro fine eyebrow pencil it's very very slim and thin so I'll be using this elf instant brow pencil and thin so it's easy to make very defined strokes and I'm going to start off by making strokes in the direction of my hair growth just to make sure I don't have any sparse gaps in my eyebrows I'm not going for the most defined look today I'm going for the more bushier look even though I'm not the biggest fan of soap brows or like bushy brows on me but today we are experimenting thing a little bit so i'm not structuring out my eyebrows like i usually do but i'm just going and filling in any sparse gaps that i have and now to achieve that slightly feathered look i'm going to take my fair beauty brush because this keeps my eyebrows in place for hours and hours and hours i'm using this elf clear brow gel this does the same thing and i'm just going to brush my eyebrows upward like this first just to get a little bit of volume in them i'm not going to leave them like this because this looks crazy honestly but i'm just going to first brush them up and make sure that they have a nice hold to them using a flat shader brush and my nyx eye shadow base i am going to clean up under my brows as well as prime my lid i am using my cuffs and lashes cover pot in the shade 09 to clean up under my brows and this is really crucial for me because i want my eye shadows to look as bright as they possibly can because aquarius as a sign is very vibrant colorful eclectic and all of that but first cleaning up under the brows because this brow mascara can get a little messy i did a speed review on it recently so i have really willing for you guys up in the eyes so go ahead and check that out but i'm just priming my lips to make sure that the eye shadows are ready to go Since the color for Aquarians is blue, it only makes sense that I use a blue palette. I'm using my Ocean Eyes palette by Nika K. I have talked about this palette earlier. I really like it. So I don't have that palette by Nika K, but I have a very similar palette. This is by SFI Cosmetics. This is the blueberry palette, and as you can see, it's very similar to that palette. Blend out so beautifully. So what I'm going to do is I'm picking up a beautiful big blender brush, and I'm taking this blue shade right here, which is a powder blue shade, and this is going to be my transition color. So I'm coating my whole brush with this. I'm going to start applying this. 
in my crease, I'm going to go in circular motions as well as windshield wiper motions just to get a nice even layer of this. And I'm going to be building this up so that I have the exact amount of color and coverage I want from this eyeshadow. But yes, I'm building this color up a little bit more just to get the right amount of intensity going on in my crease. Taking a slightly smaller shader blender brush, I'm going to pick up this Periwinkle Blue shade. This is one of my most used shades. I love this shade so much. It's so unique. I'm going to deepen up my crease a little bit. So I'm starting from the outer corners. And then I'm just going to stamp this color first into place before blending it out because I don't want it all over the place. I'm making sure I know my exact placement. And then I'm going to start blending it out in very, very short circular motions so that we have a nice seamless blend going on. Now for the main lid space here, I'm actually going to pick up this shade first. I might mix in a little bit of the shimmers later on, but first I'm going to pick this beautiful blue up. So I don't exactly have the same shade, but I have this shade right here, which seems a lot similar. It's a little dark, but we would make do with this. I'll also mix in this shade to make it a little lighter. The color is not paying off as I thought, so I'm using my finger to place it. Dusting off the excess, I'm going to start stamping this onto my lid. Oh my god, look at how gorgeously pigmented that shadow is. But now I'm going to move on to a pencil brush. I'm going to pick up the deepest, darkest blue from right here. And we are going to be doing a four wing. Dusting off the excess, I'm going to place it right at my outer corner. And then I'm going to start pulling it out in a four wing. Just to give my eyes a little bit of extra definition and a little bit of oomph. Because I really like what four wings do to my eye. So I'm just defining my four wing a little bit and making sure that it has a nice edge to it. Look at how that instantly makes such a huge difference. I'm also applying this deep blue on my lower lash line. This would prep my lower lash line for a step that I want to do later on and hopefully this would look good. Otherwise, we'll have to remove and redo our lower lash line, which is always a pain. For my inner corner, I'm going to go into another pencil brush. I'm going to pick up this shade right here. It's a white frosty shade and I'm going to apply it in my inner corners. So I have this frosty silver highlighter from Glam 21 Cosmetics and I'm using this on a pencil brush. This is the perfect highlight color for this look. I don't want a goldy highlight. I wanted a white frosty highlight and a little lighter on my brow bone. So I'm just going with a very, very light hand, just dusting it very lightly. And now for my lower lash line, I'm going to go into this glitter from TS Cosmetics. It's in the shade Starfire. I've used this so much. So I have these loose glitters from Warsaw Cosmetics from Amazon. So I'll be mixing this with a little bit of my Inside Cosmetics primer to use it as a base. I'll take it on the back of my hand. I'm so excited for this step that I can't even tell you guys. I have taken about this much quantity and I'm pouring some glitter into this. I'm going to keep it down so that it can catch any fallout because glitter can have a lot of fallout. And I am just going to be applying this on my lower lash line just to get a nice and a little bit of detailing going on, like a quirky little detailing going on. I'm applying a little bit of that glitter onto my forewing as well because right now the eyes look a little incomplete with just the lower lash line going on. So I'll quickly do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. It's time for mascara and I'm using my ultimate favorite Lash Warrior Princess Mascara by Flower Beauty and I'm going to coat my upper and lower lashes with this one. I'm going to make sure I do extra hard work on my lower lash line since I want to define them and I want them to be nicely separated for my upper lashes. Okie dokes, lashes are on and I'm really liking this eye look. The glitter is more visible when I'm like moving my head around a little rather than when I'm keeping it static. So I'm starting off with PAX Color Lock Lip Liner in the shade So Spice. So I'll be lining my lips with this Miss Claire Lip Liner in the shade Coffee. And I'm going to line and fill in my lips with this. So I'm just starting off with defining my lips a little bit. And then filling them in. And now to tone this color down a little bit, I'm going to use my Lime Prime Liquid Lipstick in the shade L, which is a beautiful nude color. I'm using the Maybelline Lipstick in the shade Barely Nude. I think this packaging is not available in the shade anymore. I'm just going to apply it all over my lips. This is a much lighter nude, so it would give me a nice gradient of color as well. So I'm going to apply a nice layer on the centers of my lips. And as I go outwards, I'm going to blend it into the lip liner just to give me a beautiful gradient, as I said. And with that, we finished this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Okay, so that's it. That's how the makeup look turned out. I am so proud of myself just to attempt this look. Now, I don't know how much it resembles her look. Like, I tried my best, you guys. I tried my best. But let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this look. Did I do good? Did I do bad? I just wish that the eyeshadows were a little more pigmented. I think that was the only problem. And also, I didn't have a single product that she used. But I managed. But this video 
made me realize that you don't have to buy everything you can make do with whatever you have i had all the basic stuff and yeah this is how it turned out but yeah this was my take on this challenge of trying out my favorite influencers look and hope you guys like this video and if you do then don't forget to subscribe to my channel also hit the notification bell right next to it also give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comment section right below i will see you guys in the next video until next time bye bye Oh, <laughs>